here with Dan Field. Dan, how's it going today? Great. We're having a great day here at, uh, at the Seagull Center. Enemy territory for Richmond Grand, but uh, nevertheless, love it. Love it. So uh, you're a co-founder of the TBT tournament. How did the idea first come about? Just so basically two friends emailing uh, about 10 years ago. We just were asking, like, what would we do? Would we start something from scratch? And this idea kind of generated itself over a couple of years. And, um, you know, 2014, we launched it. And here we are now in 2019, six years later. So you're a Richmond graduate, University of Richmond. Was it part of your idea to bring a regional here? Uh, obviously, as a Richmond grad, I was familiar with the fan base that we have here. The VCU team really was the, the primary reason for us wanting to come here. When they first played in 2016 down in Charlotte, and several hundred fans come down for us, it was really valuable. Why not bring this event to where they are? rather than make them come to where we're going to be. And so it really was the sort of the genesis of what we're now, I think, heading towards, which is this idea of playing most of these games on home courts, playing in front of fans that are passionate. The West Virginia fans over here this weekend were really a great example of that. Uh, it was something to say. You know? Yeah, I think that was really special when you said the West Virginia fans, how all the fans have traveled. I mean, you have the VCU and the Richmond fans, but honestly, the West Virginia fans were just as loud. Yeah, they were. They're, they're passionate, so that's really opening our eyes. Maybe Morgantown could be in the future. So was it, uh, how were you feeling the other day seeing Ram Nation lose? I mean, it'd be great to see Richmond, yeah. VCU, on my rivalry. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I feel bad because Ram Nation has come very close over the last couple of years. We just haven't been able to make it to that, that semi final level. Uh, for them to go out the first round, for me personally, it was shocking. Um, on the other hand, as a risk of bad, seeing the web win, yeah. that was a lot of fun too. Uh -huh. So what have you seen about this tournament progressive change from last year to this year? So I think overall, the, the thing that's really blown my mind are two things. Number one, the attendance, playing in front of thousands of fans. I think our attendance is up 8,000% this year versus last year. Um, and then, and that's no exaggeration, we should have up that much, it's incredible. Uh, and the other thing is the, the quality of the player that's playing in the event is the standard in which you have to be in order to compete has gone up exponentially. So Talk about that uh, quality of competition has gone on. Do you think that has anything to do with how uh, this year is the first year where regional bracket winners will receive a portion of the ticket sale? I think so. I think especially in Wichita, you saw that their, that price is going to be over $100,000. It's going to be a little less than some other regionals, but I think that helps. I think more than anything, what, we, what the players are seeing is that there's value in this now for them outside of just winning. You know, there are clubs from all around the world that I hear from that want to get game tape on these guys. You know, there's opportunities for them to see by the NBA scouts and scouts that get signed. We've had close to 20 guys playing TVT one year and then playing the NBA the next. So they're seeing it now as a platform to reintroduce themselves after a couple of years away with skills that they may not have had two to three years before. So really for them is a great opportunity. They appreciate it. Looking forward to a good weekend. Thanks a lot. Really